I have returned. You know, one nice thing is I get an hour and 36 minutes without ads. So there's an upside in me taking that break because then I can probably play the next chapter without struggling too much. So we're on chapter five. I think I fall into the second camp. Question marks? Lena's a fugitive. Automod is rude. RBW, I don't know what to tell you. Automod does weird things. here. Well, this is new. All right, let's see. What are they saying? Garbage shoot? <laughs> Did you don't you know that women can make themselves appear thin through fashion? My dude, my dude, my dude, my dude. I love I love I love I love this. Yeah, these are problematic types, to say the least. see here. This again. Oh my god, my dude. All right, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Yeah, this guy has a crush on Lynn.
You can definitely feel some of the Ace Attorney-isms in this. Do you blame him? Oh yeah, Lin's cute. Lin dresses my type, and that's a problem. So we can probably go to the police station. Yeah, I feel like you really shouldn't do this if you're colleagues. KMR. Ooh, we have... What era does this game take place in? We got rotary phones. Well, the use of payphones is what's interesting. Oh dear. Go do that, bud. Feels 80s or 90s? I feel like the analogness of this world is a little bit more 50s and 60s. Yeah, they got overhead projectors. to what I assume is a cock. See, there's a... Look at this. Look at the TVs and the phones. Everything is confusing. I really appreciate the retrofuturism going on here. That's fair. Yeah, the department had a widescreen television and a remote control. Like, everything about this world is very retrofuturistic. It could be analog HD. I like rotary phones. Yeah, you got a point there, uh, Egrets. Like, there's something to be said about a rotary phone as more indicative of being a telephone than some random cordless phone.
Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. And everyone has a fucking crush on her. Oh, I made the right choice. Oh my god, me moving away was the smart thing to do. I think for me, it's like I can sort of anticipate stuff happening, so I've gotten used to just making a move before I need to. It might bite me in the... Oh, it did bite me in the ass earlier, because when I went to... Um... Oh, cool. Yeah, the chicken. Well, not just the chicken, but also the uh, crane with the umbrella, because the umbrella was supposed to be done later. What's cool about this game is it's never been on a CRT, because it was originally on... Um, on a DS, and then it appeared on mobile, and now it's available on modern devices. So I guess you could play it on a CRT, but I don't think this game has seen much action in the way of CRT business. Alright, what else do we have here? Somewhere. Yeah, just write it down and say you'll mention it later. Lynn is a little bit in over her head, yeah. Hmm. I like how he's drinking at work. Are you fucking kidding me? Lynn, what the fuck? Sigh, Lynn. Come on, sweetie. Gotta stop meeting like this.
mysterious lottery murder cases on her hands. Just ask MI6 about this, you know, like the time the guy died, stuffed himself in a, a duffel bag and then locked it from the outside. A totally non-murder situation. The guy killed himself and then took care of his body by putting it inside of a duffel bag and locked it from the outside. Totally a suicide. That case is so fucking old now. It's like, what? Who, who was this guy? My six duffel bag locked. Yeah, this is from. Tw okay, yeah. So, this is from twenty ten. The MI6 spy found dead in a bag three years ago, probably locked himself in the holdout and died of a tragedy. He was shot. I find that in your like, there's no way in hell that this happened. He was killed and he was he was stuffed in a, in a duffel bag. It's so it's such a weird story, but like he is a spy, so like, you know, it, it's pretty easy to assume that something happened to him, and MI6 didn't want to say anything. I'm it doesn't say that he was shot, though. I was pretty certain he was shot. All right, let's go talk to Lin again. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, let me tell you, I have a funny story. I died again. Yeah, all those window accidents in Russia that, you know, for whatever reason, windows just are unsafe to be around. And everybody just falls out of it. Or balconies. Yeah, when you die for a third time, you're just kind of like, again? Yeah, sometimes windows are just really unsafe to be around in Russia. Or India, too. If you're a Russian in India... Yeah, at some point it starts to feel like Groundhog Day. Do you know that the real story behind Groundhog Day had suggested it was about 10,000 years? Oh yeah, that guy in Toronto. Well, the thing is, is, he did it twice. The first time he ran into the window, it didn't pop out, right? But he had broken the seal, so he went for it for a second time. That's when he fell out of the window. Like, he did it twice. The second time, it actually popped out. It never shattered until it hit the ground. Like, just don't run into windows. Like, seriously. All right, let's rewind time for her sake. See what she did. I wouldn't do that if I were. Wasn't he like the. He was like one of two partners or something like that for that firm.
I think I know what happened. Oh. It's a Rube Goldberg machine of... Huh, a Rube Goldberg machine, so I just need to know where to stop it. Let's find out here. I need him to... Yeah, I just need to stop one of the machines. Yeah, this is something that, you know, anyone could die to. Like, I think there actually, ha right, there was a famous case of this in the United States where somebody had booby trapped their home. Somebody broke in and like they didn't die, but they like ended up losing like one of their limbs or something like that. It was like a very famous case from the 60s or 70s. Yeah, something like that. It's a really wild story. Yeah, let's see here. Hey, Claria. Well, yeah, because, like, it can ignite on its own, right? Oh, let's not kink shame her. Yeah, that's the reason, this, for the same reason why you shouldn't be, like, you should be careful around black powder weapons. It's the exact same reason why you can fire a bullet in space. Or underwater. Although I highly recommend against firing a weapon underwater because it'll probably hurt you in the process. Okay, I know what to do. I think we get to do something now. Unfortunately, the submersible will end up just shoot you full of water anyway. I'm glad that I had the, um, okay. I'm glad I had the foresight to kind of know what's going on down here. Oh, 
Oh, so I still went off. Okay, I need to go back. Well, just having friction is enough to do it, too. Like, just a small amount of friction can set off a lot of these, um, a lot of things like that. Here, go away. Oops. Yeah, I need to go back to the fate change here. I don't think that's good enough here. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, flower explosions are another thing here too. You don't want to, like, flower is incredibly flammable. Yeah, this game rules. her first time here. I think I need to do something with the hoist. Hmm. Oh yeah, sawdust is the other one. This one is like gonna be like some, I guess this one has to be really fast. So. Hmm. 
All right, so that's gonna go. Bloody hell. What am, I most, what am I supposed to do here? What a cool game this is. took a couple of attempts and then I sorted it out. Happy birthday! Hmm. God, this game is so freaking cool. Yeah, she's had many birthdays again. She's investigating a murder. All right, let's find out. find out here. Missile is a good dog. Everybody should love Missile.
I love her. A lot of murder in this town? Yeah. Apparently she can't trust me. Well, you know, a cab. Why are you running? Oh, is there something? God, this game is so neat. Yep, yeah, I know. It's sad. Okay, so is she going to carry us? Okay. B ninety I wonder if Ray is the one person that was murdered. God, this music is so freaking good. 